Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So this video is a how-to on how to grab a frame out of your video. In other words, grab a picture out of your video. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, you might want to use the picture for a slideshow. Maybe you want to take your video and grab a bunch of pictures out of it and create a slideshow or maybe put it in PowerPoint. Maybe you just want to grab some pictures out of the video so you can send some pics to your friends through your email. Or maybe you want to make a thumbnail for a video to put on YouTube. There might be a number of reasons you'd want to grab a picture out of a movie. Well, let's just take a look at how we can do that. So let's say you had a movie that you wanted to get some snapshots or pictures out of. Uh, this is one I got of a deer right here. It's a fawn. And if we scroll through it, you can see the fawn moving around, and there's probably a few good shots in there we might want to capture. So let's get started. Let's say we just want the fawn, say, right there. I want to show people that this fawn just walked right up to me. All right. Now, just to be quick, so you don't have to watch the rest of the video, I'll show you how I do it very quickly here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to File Export and I'm going to get a frame out of this movie. So I go to Export Movie down to Single Frame is JPEG. Uh, well, you can pick BMP or JPEG. I usually use Single Frame as JPEG. That's my favorite. It's compressed, doesn't take up much room. So I'm going to go for that and then I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, and you can see it's going into my Movies folder. I'm just putting an explanation point in front of it to make it easier to find, and then I'm just going to say OK. And uh, not giving you a lot of directions here, I'm just quickly showing you how to do it. So there it is. So now if I go into my Movies folder, just opening my movie folder here and there's the picture right there and you can see I grabbed that one image so that's just how simple it is now I'll get into a little more detail on how to do it here is the more detailed version so what I basically did is went onto my hard drive on my computer and found a movie that I wanted to grab a picture out of uh, let's see here. Let's take Billy's model rocket collection this time. And here's here's one right off my camera. Right here. I'm just going to drag it in. Notice I just dragged it to the timeline. No big deal. All right. Now, now that the movie's in there. I'm going to go along. Now this movie's in 1080p. That's what came off my camera. If you want to look at the properties, you can right click, go to object properties. There it is. 1080 right there. So that's the resolution of the photo we're going to get. It's going to be 1080p. You're not going to get more resolution than what the movie is. Just wanted to let you know that. So now let's say we wanted something interesting here. Let's scan along. Now, what we can do is adjust the photo the way we want it to look first. Let's say we go into Effects, and we'll go into Video Effects. I'm going to go to Brightness Contrast. Let's just go ahead and brighten up the gamma a little bit. Make it a little brighter like that for our photo. All right. And if you want to boost the contrast, you can do that too, whatever you feel like. I'm just going to only boost the gamma. All right, so we got it like that. Now we can export the movie or grab a frame. It's still exporting, by the way. So we go to File right up here. Then we go to Export Movie. Export Movie. But instead of picking a movie format, we're going to go down to single frame is JPEG right here. Click on that 
and there's the 1920 by 1080p. Now you might get a lower resolution if your video was in a lower resolution, or you might have a higher resolution if it was like a 4K video or something. You'll get a higher resolution. It'll be whatever the movie is. Now, this is where it's going to go right here. It's going to go to my drive called P to the movies folder. If you don't want it to go there, and I want you to pay a special attention to this. This is called the path. The path is where you're going to find your picture afterward. If you don't know what that is, you're not going to be able to find it. Now, one thing you can do to make sure you know where it is is just click this folder here and you can put it in a specific location. I'm going to go to P here and then say I, I want it to just go in the root of my P drive. I could leave it on P. Or I might want it to go into movies where I usually put it. So I'll just go into movies. And uh, I could still call it the same as the last one if I wanted to. But we won't worry about the name right now. I'll just say save. Okay, now it hasn't actually saved it. All it did was fill in this path and it put the name in. Now I can put this as, say, 02 this time. I can put my explanation point in front of it if I want to, just so I can find it. Oh, see, I I got to get that backslash back in there. That's part of the path. So there's my path. I know where it's going to go. Uh, this doesn't apply. Export selected range only doesn't matter because we don't have a range. We're just exporting a single picture. So it really doesn't matter whether that's on or off. So now we hit OK. Now it always pops up this message about the settings or, and things like that. The export settings and the movie settings are different. And the frame rate and all that. Well, we don't care because it's not even a movie. We're just exporting a picture. So then hit continue. And you're done. That's all there is to it. And if you go in and look at, find out where it went. In my case, it's on the P drive under movies. And there it is, number two right here. And there's the picture. And you can take that picture and send it in your email, uh, post it on, a, say, a forum, uh, just make a slideshow, put it in PowerPoint, do whatever you want with it. It's just a picture. Okay, we're back here with the fawn again. And I know how everyone likes a cute deer fawn. But say you want to make him even cuter. Now there's a way you can do that and enhance your picture a little bit before you export it. So what we do is uh, go to Effects right here, then go to Design Elements, that's right here. Go down to Image Objects. And you should have these in here. If you don't, you probably don't have the Plus version of Magic's Movie Edit Pro. I always recommend to get the Plus version because you do get the extra goodies. So if you do have these, you can go to Border right here. And then, say, pick a floral border like this. Bring it down. And bingo! you got a pretty floral border. And you can just move the deer around till he gets right in there. Say right there. Well, he's looking. Sometimes there's blur in the movie, so you just got to move this pointer until you get a good picture, a good unblurred frame. Say right there. Okay, now that we've done that, again, you can do any enhancements you want to it. Like you can do sharpness. There's a sharpness thing here. You can sharpen it up. Sometimes that gets rid of, rid of the blur. You can do color correction. Uh, you can do brightness contrast. You can bring up the gamma. Or maybe you want to bring the gamma down. I think that looks pretty good there. It kind of accents the frame, matches the frame a little. Okay, but whatever you do, once you're done, then you just go back into File, Export Movie, Single Frame is JPEG. Make sure you know where the movie's going. And go ahead and give it a name. doesn't have to be this name. For example, I could put uh, Deer Fawn or whatever I want in there. Dear Fawn. There we go. Now let's save it. Everything looks good. 
and it's on 1080 still we'll just say OK continue alright so now it's done and you'll get a picture that looks just like this there we go and there it is right there so now let's talk about thumbnails maybe you've got a YouTube channel or you're on Vimeo or something I don't know but you want to have a thumbnail so what you can do here is a movie I made about uh, 3D printers kind of a cool movie I think that looks pretty cool where the 3D printer is making a wristband so uh, let's go ahead and make that the thumbnail but it'd be nice to have a title wouldn't it sure so let's go ahead and make one and you can bring up the title editor here or just go to standard title so I'm on the title tab under standard and then pick a title let's say we want to go with large subtitles right here so we just drag this down put it right here and then just type in we what we want we'll say uh, 3d printer and there's my title I can check that and then put it say up here at the top somewhere I'm going to go ahead and make that title a little larger by just dragging this over and so it's too big but we'll go into general now I went from standard to general and pull this down here this is the size and you can make it any size you want I kinda of like to have it on one line I think so I can go up that far and it kinda of goes it wraps around so right there is about the, the closest I can get it and then I can put it up top here and it makes a nice little thumbnail you decide how you want to do it but uh, there's other things you can do too like if you wanted a, a background we're gonna go down in design elements to test images and pick pick this black right here I'm gonna bring that down and what I'm gonna do is basically put the black above the title so let's zoom in a little bit hope you can follow this all I'm gonna do is slide the title down one track put the black over it like this now we got a problem because the black is covering up the movie so what we can do is and I realize this may be a little advanced okay we're still in effects so we're just gonna to go to movement effects and go to size and position and I've got the black test image highlighted and I'm just gonna size a little bit now you can see the picture underneath now if we take this checkbox off to maintain proportions we can then move this to any size we want and we can put it right there I'm going to make it a little smaller than that. Let's make it like right there. Then I'll highlight the title and move that into that black area. Now, if we wanted to, we could go back to the image. Still under size and position, we could move the image down because it's underneath there. Move it down so the point of interest is kind of in the middle, the ring. So now we got 3D printer review on a black background with a nice little picture of our ring right there. And that should do it. I just went back to the import tab just to get rid of the border that was around there. So that's how it looks. Now we can export it. File. And we'll go to export movie. Single frame is JPEG. Now this is a thumbnail. So this time I'm going to go with a reduced size. I'm going to go to 720p because we don't want a huge file to upload to YouTube. We just want a small file for a thumbnail. So 720 is plenty big enough. Then we just say, uh, well, let me go ahead and put this as, uh, we'll go printer thumb. There we go. And do OK, continue and we've got it now if we go into movies again and you can see right here printer thumb there's what it looks like right there 
and you can use that for a thumbnail for your video. Now as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to put somebody on TV. So I got John here in the movie and I've got the frame I want. Now let's just go to effects. And again, you probably have to have the uh, plus version to do this. Alright, so we want to go down to design elements again. Hope you got the plus version. Now let's go back into where we had borders, believe it or not. And if you look in there, there's one called Old TV. We'll just bring that down and drop it right on the movie. And sure enough, John's on TV. How about that? So uh, we can just play it like that. Like a TV show. There you go. So I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, you can always leave them under the video. And I've got my special hat on here because I'm on TV. Well, we'll see you later, and have a good time with Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Here, like.